Tim Ellenberger, Vice President of Motion Controls Robotics. Uh, compared to the last time I talked to you on a robotic tech talk, uh, some things have gotten smaller. Hopefully me, because of the camera, and we're going to a smaller robot. Uh, this is the Fanuc LR Mate. Um, this is the 200 ID7L. Um, just like the other robots, all those numbers on the robot identifiers mean something. LRMate 200 signifies the LRMate 200 family. The number afterwards, 7D or D7L, talks about 7 being kilograms, L being long arm. The LRMate comes in versions that are 5 and 6 axis and range from 4 to 7 kilograms. You can get enhanced water and dust, dust protection and they come with a little bit smaller controller that we'll talk about in a minute. We've had this unit run at up to 40 single picks, just a little bit over 40 single picks a minute for packaging, and 65 plus over 70 picks, reflex picks, so pick, pick, place. So this is a really powerful little unit that can get a lot done speed-wise and at a little bit uh, better payload and more traditional use than some of the other models of robots. This is the collaborative version of the LR Mate. Again, it's the seven long arm, so it's the seven IAL. So seven kilograms long arm. This unit has four sensor in the base that allows it to be a collaborative unit. Allows it to run without uh, additional fencing and guarding. Uh, with limited speeds and meet all the safety standards that are relevant to it. This has all the same options as any other element. On the back, we have an Ethernet connector port. We have air connector port and a robot connector port. Like the other robots, the Ethernet connector port comes up and is accessible here, so you can have external Ethernet talking here. We have robot connector here for other IOs and you still have the four internal valve banks that you can configure to use for grippers. One of the big things different for the LRMate is the controller. The LRMate controller obviously is smaller than the standard R30IA, R30IB plus controller. This is the standard controller for the larger robots, normal band robots. This is the mate controller. The mate controller is physically smaller, but still has all the same opportunity and options available in it. This is the closed version. There's also an open air version that's even less money, but it is an option. The other good thing about the LR mate is there's selectable input voltages. This one's set up for 120 volt input from fan. Transformer plugs into a 120 volt outlet. We can run this system on 120 volts, 100 AC. You can also get it configurable for 220 volts. For, for preventative maintenance for the LR mate, it's the same basic preventative maintenance as the other larger robots, although a smaller unit. It doesn't take as much grease, it still has batteries batteries in the controller that need to be replaced and batteries in the base that need to be replaced. Both need to be replaced under power and again we would suggest that it be completed by a certified service technician. Uh, and you can get that from us or you can schedule that with Fanny. Again, you're going to also want to make sure that you check key stops, keys, push buttons to make sure nothing's broke there. Check your teach pendant, teach pendant cables to make sure there's no frame cable, that the teach pendant's in good shape, that the key stop on the teach pendant's good, the overlay's all good, workable, and the keys work on the overlay. You're also going to want to check to make sure all your cables are intact, that they're tight, that they're not broken. Same with Ethernet, air, check your airline, dress out to make sure nothing's great. In this case, we have a collaborative gripper mounted, so like other things, that collaborative gripper does need checked uh, during uh, normal preventative maintenance. 